The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Saul approved of the killing. That day, a bitter persecution started against the church in Jerusalem, and everyone except the apostles scattered to the country districts of Judea and Samaria. There were some devout people, however, who buried Stephen and made great mourning for him. Saul then began doing great harm to the church. He went from house to house, arresting both men and women and sending them to prison. Once they had scattered, they went from place to place, preaching the good news. And Philip went to a Samaritan town and proclaimed the Christ to them. The people unanimously welcomed the message Philip preached because they had heard of the miracles he worked and because they saw them for themselves. For unclean spirits came shrieking out of many who were possessed, and several paralytics and cripples were cured. As a result, there was great rejoicing in that town. Our response from Psalm 66. Acclaim God all the earth. Sing psalms to the glory of his name. Glorify him with your praises. Say to God how awesome you are. Your achievements are the measure of your power. Your enemies woo your favor. All the earth bows down before you. Sing psalms to you. Sing psalms to your name. Come and see the marvels of God, his awesome deeds for the children of Adam. He changed the sea into dry land. They crossed the river on foot. So let us rejoice in him who rules forever by his power. His eyes keep watch on the nations to forestall rebellion against him. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus answered them, I am the bread of life. No one who comes to me will ever hunger. No one who believes in me will ever thirst. But as I have told you, you can see me and still you do not believe. Everyone whom the Father gives me will come to me. I will certainly not reject anyone who comes to me because I have come from heaven not to do my own will, but to do the will of him who sent me. Now the will of him who sent me is that I should lose nothing of all that he has given to me, but that I should raise it up on the last day. It is my Father's will that whoever sees the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and that I should raise that person up on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord.